Hey guys, today I am back again reacting to more of your song suggestions. I made another video like this last week and I said I have a ton of more songs to react to um, that were recommended to me by you guys. In this video, it's going to be a little bit longer. I'm trying to get all caught up. In this video, I have a wide variety of different genres. I think it's mostly EDM, but there's also some like rock and like pop rock and some rap too. Let's get started. The first song is by Vintage Culture called In The Dark. I have no idea who this artist is, but it is spinning records, so I'm assuming it's EDM. Yep, it's EDM. So far, it's pretty good. I have no clue what the drop is gonna sound like. Oh. Oh. Ooh. I like it. It's got kind of like darker vibes, especially the bass. It sounds kind of darker and grittier. I like that. The job was pretty good. It was very unique. I loved how it sounded. I love the chords. I love all the rhythms and everything. It's really great. And I love the arp in this verse. It sounds really good. It reminds me a lot of what I hear on Stamped Records. Although I like Stamped Records a lot, I still do like Spinning Records too. Ooh, nice clap. I love the lead into the drop. It's really cool. Yeah, Spinning Records is probably my second favorite label. I really enjoy this one. It's really great. This next one is called Rumors by Nefex. I've never heard of Nefex. Okay, I think this is rock. Sounds pretty dark so far. Like this pitched down vocal chop. I do like the guitar riff though. It's kind of like gritty and darker. Really simple drums. I like this part. It sounds really different compared to like the rock I listen to because it's more like pop rock. It's not bad, it's just not really my style, you know? I do like the guitar in this part. I do like the vocalist, I think he's got a good voice. I'm pretty sure this was recommended to me around the time I reacted to Funk Wave Bounces Volume 2 because Tanashi and Offset are both featured on that album and so this person wanted me to react to their collab. I do really like Tanashi's voice. I was really introduced to her through Calvin Harris's music. I've never really listened to her own music, but I do like what she did with Calvin Harris. I love the beat. She's got a really nice flow. She kind of reminds me of Doji Cat, actually. It sounds really like dark and mysterious. I really like the lead and it's kind of got that like trap beat, you know? I think her voice goes really well with the song. I love Ossed's ad-libs. I don't know why, but sometimes I find them kind of funny. This part's good. It's a vibe. I like Offset's verse. I think they sound really good together. I think it's good. It's not like super over the top. Like overall, it's pretty simple and laid back. It's just got a really nice chill vibe to it, you know? Next up, I'll be reacting to Chase Atlantic. I have heard of them. I do like a few of their songs. My cousin actually introduced me to Chase Atlantic. So I am familiar with them. I have not heard this song though. From what I know, they have like a pretty like wide range of music, like different genres and their sound changes a few times throughout their like career. I think that's a saxophone I'm hearing. It's honestly a vibe so far. I wonder if it's gonna sound like this throughout the whole song. It's just gonna be nice and chill and kind of mellow. Oh, okay. I love the beat. Again, it's kind of like a rap trap beat. It honestly would be really good if there was like a lo-fi remix. I don't know, I just feel like it would be a good lo-fi song like with the saxophone and everything. It's just so chill. The beat is probably my favorite part of the song. It's so fire. It's nice and slow and chill. Like I said, it's such a vibe. Oh, and I love that 808 slide. I just caught it now, but I love that. They really make some really creative, unique stuff. And I really like the, um, the lyrics in this song and the vocalist is pretty good too. This next song, I'm really going in blind. I have no clue who these artists are. And this is also a remix, so this should be interesting. And I have no clue what genre it's gonna be. Good kick, I like it. Ooh. 
I kind of like it actually. I love the chords. It sounds kind of like a guitar to me. Or maybe it's like a piano thing. Whatever it is, I love how it sounds. Yeah, I'm starting to think this is more of like a dance song. I love the melody. Oh. It kind of changed a little bit. Now it's a little bit different, kind of darker. I have no clue what this drop is going to sound like. Oh. It's good. I like it. It sounds really like powerful and dark, kind of. Oh, I like this part. Really great sound design and melody. I'm really enjoying it. I do like it. I would honestly go back and listen to the original just to compare the two. Next up is more Elenium. A lot of you guys have been asking me to react to more Elenium, and so I am. Beautiful piano. Really beautiful intro. Oh my gosh, this is already super emotional. I feel like this song is really relatable for a lot of people. Like the lyrics are super deep and meaningful. Oh my gosh, can't wait for the drop. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's got that classic Elenium sound. Very emotional, euphoric. Honestly, the vibes I'm getting right now are just so great. I love that vocal chop in the drop, it's perfect. And it's overall like pretty simple too. It's so catchy. I just love the vocal chop, like just the way it's pitched and it just, it just sounds so good. Oh, I should probably mention the vocalist too. I think he's really good. I think his voice fits so well with this song. I love it. Oh, I love the strings. So beautiful. Really great production overall. Elenium is so good. I'm a huge fan of Nile, and I don't really listen to any of the other guys in One Direction. I know that's crazy. I did hear that Louis has a new album coming out, but since I'm not really a fan of his, I haven't heard any of the songs or anything. I honestly have no clue what genre his music is, and I honestly have like no clue what his voice sounds like. I don't listen to his music outside of what he's done in One Direction, so it's almost like I'm listening to his voice for the first time right now. I wonder if there's some kind of like effect or some kind of processing on his voice, because it does sound kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, like a tape recording or something? I don't know, but I do like the vocals. He has a good voice, it's just obviously not my favorite. It's good. I like the guitars. It's a little more like rock, alternative, indie kind of. I can hear his accent coming through in the way he pronounces some of the words. I love that. Yeah, it's not really my genre, not really my style. So that's why I don't really like follow his music, but it's not a bad song. I can really hear like the passion in his voice and in his music. I do like the song. I think the guitar is probably my favorite part. I like the melody, although I just don't think it's anything that I can see myself getting into. It is well written though. I really love the lyrics. This is the last song I'm going to be reacting to in this video. This person recommended a few songs to me, so I'm just going to pick one. I did recognize Rena's name. I can't pronounce her last name. I don't want to butcher it, but I do recognize her name. I haven't heard any of her music. She has a very beautiful voice. I think just by her voice alone, she's super, super talented. I don't really know what kind of genre she does though, so this should be interesting to find out. Oh, no way. It's kind of like a dance song. Oh my gosh, the rhythms are crazy. I like the bass line and the pianos too. Oh, and some strings. This song has everything. And now I hear like an acoustic guitar too. Oh my gosh. There's so many instruments, so many things going on. Really great lyrics. Ooh. This is completely different to like anything I've heard. The production is so like chaotic to me. There's just a lot of different instruments and stuff. I really love the melody in this part. What was that vocal chop? I don't know, it just sounds like there's a little bit too much going on for me. It sounds a little over the top. There's just so many like different melodies and things kind of clashing. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. Like a key change, really? That was like the final surprise of the song. 
And I don't hear that a whole lot, like in the music I listen to and just in music in general these days. So that's it. That's all of the songs I'm going to be reacting to in this video. These were all suggestions from my subscribers. If you have more songs that you want me to react to, you can leave them in the comments in this video. I'll probably do another one of these videos sometime in October. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!